Hey, Xiaomi here. So today I wanted to do my April wrap up and I don't have much to update you on, but I, can, I am going to say that if you hear music, then I apologize because the neighbor does have music and for some odd reason my phone keeps on picking up on it and I can't wait any longer. I've waited 30 minutes and I'm just not going to continue waiting because I need to film this today. So let me just tell you which are the books that I read for the month of April. The first one that I'm going to mention is The Trader Prince by CJ Redwine. This is book three in the Raven Spire series and this one is a fairy tale retelling of the prince and the pauper and here we follow Prince Jovan and there is this imposter who want to take who wants to take over the kingdom and become the crown prince the problem with jovan is that nobody in his kingdom has seen him in roughly around 10 years because he has been away in this military academy so anybody that basically looks like him can actually infiltrate you know the kingdom because there's also some things happening in his kingdom so they tried to assassinate him the problem is that that assassination backfires but the prince is sent into Makbara and Makbara houses some of the most dangerous prisoners in Akram and there he has to either fight for his life or die trying because there is this gladiator s tournament and in order for him to win a favor for the king then he has to be the last one standing in this um gladiator-esque tournament so obviously he is thrusted into this adventure and there are a lot of things that transpire some moments that are just like oh and they made my heart palpitate but there were some scenes that were just fast paced those last 200 pages are just such page turners which i love there's some characters that i really enjoyed if i can say anything about this um book that really took away from my enjoyment of it would be the opening because it's like you're rushed into it and you know you feel a little bit lost in the beginning i understand why it was done i just wish that it was slowed down a bit because you are introduced into this new culture which she is you know taking influence from and i was just like wait let me get into this a little bit don't rush me into it but overall you know as the story transpired i picked it up you know rather well but the plot twists are simply amazing and also like one thing that i can nitpick would also be like the world building aspects when it has to deal with the descriptions i think that could have been perfected a little bit more but overall the story was incredible and i loved these characters and i also liked how it dealt with the co political corruption within akram and how was it that you know jovan is sent into such a dire situation but it was kind of okay for him to be sent into this situation just because if he would have never been sent into Makbara, he would never have seen the corruption that is happening in his kingdom the cry for help that his people are having and just the shit storm that's happening in his own kingdom that he had no knowledge of so out of something that was difficult and dangerous for him to transpire through it basically in the end became something that he learned from and also you know made him become or probably will make him become a better person because he gets to see these situations happening and i just loved the take on it there were bittersweet moments especially that ending that i was just like oh why are you gonna do this but i actually was okay with the twist and the take on it you know i have to say that it was just such an enjoyable story and the um audio format is really really good i highly suggest for you to pick it up through audio format because it was really good but you know it was just a fascinating story and i loved everything about it um the next book that i decided to pick up was trail of lightning by rebecca rowenhorse i gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars I thought that the cultural aspects to this world, especially dealing with native Indians, was something that was incredible. I would have loved the glossary because I need to know how to learn how to pronounce these things because I was having difficulty with it. But overall, the characters are just gripping and just the story is so mesmerizing. Like, I loved it so much. And how is it that it deals with a post-apocalyptic world? And how was it that our world met, you know, its demise, you know, the downfall of Earth, you know, and how was it that it affected everything in this culture and everything in this world and how is it that you know this is the sixth extinction so how is it that that played into effect and also the gods and the monsters how is it that they roam our earth and how is it that she you know basically kills them because she is and i hope i pronounced this right a denetta which denettas are um demon slayers and it was just an interesting take on it and i love the characters i have a problem with my main character which is maggie I thought that she was just a bit stubborn well not a bit she was extremely stubborn and I wish she would have thought things through a little bit more but I understand why she was the way she was because you know she went through some difficult situations but I can't wait to see where else is it that the story takes place because there were some things that happened in the end that I was just like whoa what the hell 
hell is happening, man? This is just so incredible. The, you know, the action scenes were just incredible. Like, that's what I have to say. Um, I did enjoy Kai. Um, there, oh, man, he broke my heart. Like, let's just say that. It was just such hurtful moments that he went through because I was just like, no, 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 no. But, you know, there are things that happened to him that I'm not going to say, obviously, because of spoilers. But this was a wonderful story to read, and it's a fast-paced you know story to actually like sit down and read in one sitting but i really did love everything about it and i can't wait to see what else happens in the story and just you know it was just a really good take on a story and i want i want more from it because it was really really good um then i decided to pick up oh my god i decided to pick up slayer by kirsten white this was the book that i had mentioned in my previous wrap-up that i was like wait there was a book that i forgot it was this one slayer um, I the reason that I forgot about it was because I started it in March, but I never finished it in March. I extended it so much, and I and I finally finished it in April. I gave this two out of five stars because it was just so disappointing. And I have a review already on Goodreads for this book, so I'm going to link it down below because I think that one is going to be more. You know, it's just going to explain my thoughts a lot better than I can right now because. I, I don't remember anything about this like let's just be real I think the cover is great but just like everything else was just a huge disappointment it's sad because I was really intrigued in that book I also did an impromptu 24 hour readathon which that one should be up by now but I read three books by Latina and or Latino authors and that was Marcus Vega Doesn't Speak Spanish by Pablo Cartaya I freaking love that book so much and I can't show it to you because those were books that I borrowed from my library um and I already took them back but I gave that one five out of five stars it was just such a beautiful story about family and the representation of Puerto Rico in it was just lovely I adored it so much and how it also represented that you know Puerto Ricans can tell their life story to a complete stranger. I just love that because basically a lot of us do that. I don't because I'm really reserved. But I also liked how it expanded on the chinchorros because us Puerto Ricans do like to go to chinchorros. And also weaving Spanish into the story. And how is it that these siblings are trying to discover where is it that their father is at. And also the revelations are really beautiful because they get to discover a lot from themselves as a family. And also rekindling certain things that were lost. You know throughout um their stay in the states and how was it that in one way or another they reconnected with their family here in puerto rico which i thought that was just so beautiful and also the representation of um his brother and he does have down syndrome this was a story that i really resonated with so much because i connected with it on such a beautiful and emotional level because there were a lot of things that i have gone through and a lot of things that i can resonate with the character with so that's why it was really uh, it was just a beautiful story and i loved it so much it is a middle grade story that was just so engrossing and it was just lovely to read about and i i want to recommend it to everybody i don't know why people aren't speaking about that book because that book was just amazing the next book that i read was the revolution of evelyn serrano by sonia mareno was it I don't even know what I wrote um but I also enjoyed that book because I learned a lot more from my culture that I did not know about especially the 1937 massacre that happened in Ponce and also about the young lords in the states um there was just so many things that were just fascinating to read about and also our main character um how is it that she went through this and also was she trying to rebel against her parents um old-fashioned ways or was she trying to fight for the equal rights of puerto ricans in the u.s because they weren't treated that well so i, I like that take on it well how was it that you know these people were seen and it was just incredible story that i really really did enjoy and also like i resonated with it also because for some odd reason i don't know why but you know when puerto ricans you know migrate to the states you know that diaspora that happened um when we left we left um we get we went to new jersey and i don't know why but puerto ricans tend to have like the same things in every house and puerto ricans tend to back then we don't do that i don't think they do that anymore but back then we used to put plastic covers on a on a couch on a sofa and i was just like wow oh my god i was just like oh my god i connected so much with her because i was just like oh my god this is so relatable because my parents used to do that also and when that plastic gets covered you know you you know it's just horrible you know to go through that experience if you are puerto rican and had you know plastic cover furniture 
you know what I'm talking about. But, you know, it was a good story to read. I gave that one 4 out of 5 stars. The other one that I did not enjoy in that 24-hour readathon was If I Could Fly by Judith Ortiz Koffer. I also have a read for that one because there's nothing that I can say that I gripped towards because I skim read that entire book. Um, and yeah, I, I, I was just, you know, rolling my eyes for a lot of things that there were drama moments that I just could have cared less about but I'm gonna be linking um, my Goodreads review down below if you want to know more thoughts on that one but I was just not invested in that one and the final books that I decided to pick up were Saga Volume 3 and I confused my thoughts on Volume 2 with Volume 3 because for me Volume 3 is the filler Volume 2 is one that's really great because we get a lot of backstory on that book and about the characters and how was it that you know they eventually came together so that one was one that I really did enjoy um but this one was the one that for me was a filler and I was just like well you know I was okay with it there wasn't anything that was really gripping for me to pick up but you know I was intrigued to continue with the storyline but this one Volume 4 was one that you know picked up for me i really enjoyed it a lot more you know her gig is one that i was just like okay it's kind of funny you know what she's trying to do but you know she's also trying to provide for her family i think that you know how she's trying to deal with a lot of situations was one that i wasn't agreeing with um mark or marco i, I keep on forgetting their names but um I don't know he he has some things to work out with like let's just say that he needs to work out some things i also for, have forgotten a couple of things about the prince and i was like what are you doing and then i had remembered what was to happen but overall the situations that are happening i was invested in and you can see that the storyline is starting to pick up again so yeah i was intrigued and i really did enjoy this one now i'm going to continue with the series because i think this one had a lot more you know information and action and especially um Hazel's um, perspective is something her storyline is something that I really want to know more of so I decided to give this one four out of five stars just because it was a lot more entertaining than the previous books and the last book that I picked up for the month of April was Lady Midnight I'm still currently reading this one because it's just I have a lot of things to say I'm on page 434 I'm going to be doing a separate um sort of diary vlog for this one so expect that one pretty soon but not much happens in the first 100 pages um there are some things that i could care less and you're gonna get more information from me on that because like i said i'm still currently reading that and i need to know if some things happen in the end but there's only one character that i'm really really invested in the rest i'm like okay there are some things that i like there are two characters that i want apart not together but those are all the books that i read for the month of april if there is a book that i have that was my complete favorite for the month of april that would definitely have to be marcus vega doesn't speak spanish and also the trader prince um but yeah that's all i have to say for this video i want to say thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and or night and i'll see you in my next video peace